Yep, so this is the control box on the 1200D Pro. Okay, so this is the control box on the 1200D Pro. We have the ambient light sensor. So if something is bright, the screen will be brighter. Okay, and this is menu button and DMX mode. I never use DMX. So let's skip this part. And we have the dimming curve linear and we have the dimming curve you can select which and we have the dimming curve and next we have the dimming curve and i always select linear because it's have easier to calculate the exposure with the linear line and other depends on what you are doing the fan mode Okay, the fan mode is interesting. Okay, so the fan mode, because right now I didn't connect the lamp head, but the fan mode, the smart is between high and medium, and the silent will just totally turn off the fan and reduce the power, maybe. Yeah, it, it said reduce the power to 100 watt. So if you want the full power, you must choose medium, high, or smart. and Okay, so next one is the studio mode. So if you plug in the AC power in, it will just turn on automatically. You don't need to press this power button. I like this function too. Next one, frequency selection. So this you can add hundred. So, so next frequency would, so next, next, so next frequency re selection. So next the frequency selection. So next the frequency selection. So you can add uh, if you are a high speed sync in your light. And high, so next the frequency selection. So I never use and I have never Next, the frequency selection. So I never shoot high speed uh, video above 120p. So maybe I don't have any problem with all my aperture light, but if you are shooting super duper fast, high frame rate, that kind of stuff, maybe this is helpful. Maybe this frequency selection is useful. I have no idea. And next the control and next the control system so we have bluetooth lumen radio and internet we don't have the 2.4 gigahertz remote stuff that other fixture have okay language chinese and english and frac okay language chinese and english we have factory reset, we have update, and we have uh, product information, custom FX, custom FX, I haven't played this, and in custom FX, I think this is the effect you can create in your smartphone, the Citus Link app, and you can save those inside of this control box this is my guess i have no idea i haven't played this before so yeah wait for my full review